I V M. Hi, everybody. Just wanted to ask everyone for a quick favor. We're running a brand survey right now and would really appreciate it if you could let us know what you think about the advertising on IVM. Go to ivmpodcast.com slash survey and do let us know. As part of this, we'll be selecting 10 random participants and sending them some IVM swag. So do fill out those surveys. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach. And today in the hot seat, we have Kiara Sharma. And she says something very interesting. She says, Good morning, sir. My question might be a typical teenager's problem for you. I'm a PCOD patient, hence I have acne. And I've also gained weight since the last six months. It's really affected the way that I see myself. I never had any self-esteem issues before. But now, I'm even scared to look at myself in the mirror. Let alone go outside. People comment on my scarred face and my tummy. And no matter how hard I try, I end up feeling worthless. Also, I'm unable to stick to the habits of jogging or working out, even after trying multiple times. Please help me out. Would really appreciate it if you answer my question in the next episode. I would be very thankful for you, sir. Excited for the next episode. Have a great day. And then a rainbow emoji. All right. So, Kiara, what you're talking about is something that many of us go through. Very often, we have bodily changes that take place that we can't figure out what is causing them. Like you said, I have PCOD that has caused probably my acne, probably my weight gain and all of that's taking place. And there are multiple things happening at a body issue, which is physiological in nature. We've done many podcasts on PCOD. We've done many podcasts on weight gain. You can listen to those. But more importantly, there are two questions that I'm seeing come up. One is, what do I do with my self-esteem issues, especially when people comment about either the acne or the fat that I've put on? The second is how do I stick to the habits that I have decided that I'm going to be doing? So let's talk about both these things. The first thing to understand is that there are two kinds of people that you will meet. There are people who will say, oh my God, what has happened to your face? Out of concern, out of care. The problem is that they don't know how to word it correctly. So it comes off as either criticism or it comes off as something that we have to be very cautious about or something that, you know, destroys our self-esteem. The point is that they are seeing this out of concern, but we cannot see that concern because they're not saying it properly. The communication is breaking down. So that is one thing that takes place. The second kind of person is the person that says these things to try and run you down. Right? They'll say, oh my God, look at your face. What has happened to you? You used to be so beautiful earlier and now look at what has happened to you. Or, oh my God, what has happened to you? You put on so much weight. I remember you used to be thinner than me. Now look, what I, what's your weight? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I must, I'm sure I'm lighter than you by now. And stupid things like that, the people will say. I've heard such stupid things being told and you can see the other person is hurting, but they will twist it in. You know, almost like stick a knife and twist it inside you. Because they are trying to hurt you. Those kinds of people we do not want in our life. And you have my full permission to get rid of them from your life. If they are part of your family, I know it's hard to get rid of them. But what you have to do is you have to push them aside slowly, slowly, slowly. Because they are not having your best interest at heart. The other kind, well, they have your best interest at heart, but they don't know how to communicate it. So all you have to do is understand and appreciate that it is concern that is coming. It is not criticism that is coming. Now, you know, Kiara, whatever is happening to you, the weight has come, the weight will also go. If you do the right things, the acne has come, the acne will also go if you do the right things. Scars may be a little harder. But the important thing is that all this is inside your control. And you need to realize that it's inside your control. Otherwise, what we do is we blame the environment. Oh, it's because of the pollution. Oh, it's because of this. Oh, it's because of that. Or we blame our fate. Oh God, I know so many people actually who used to blame their hair loss on I must have done something bad in my last life. No, it's not about that. Everything, what is under your control, you must be able to control. Things that you can't control, you must relegate. You must leave, you must forget. And then you will start feeling that peace. So what I want you to do is I want you to start thinking about it this way. I want you to start thinking about what are the things in my life that I can control. But more importantly, ask yourself, why do you want to control them? Why do you want to change them? You look at yourself in the mirror and you feel disgusted. You look at yourself in the mirror and you feel the lack of self-esteem. That sometimes isn't enough. Why do you want to lose weight? What is the inner desire that is very, very strong? 
I keep talking about setting the right intention. I don't think you set the right intention because if you had set the right intention, come what may raining outside or anything, you would be out there jogging or working out or doing your food, focusing on food, giving up your sweets. Once that desire becomes so burning, that intention is set, there is no way that you will not be able to stick to the changes that you decide. So the two aspects of this, one is finding what is that intention, that burning desire inside you that to make that change. But the second is knowing what are the right changes to make. Very often we don't make the right changes. I have known so many people that's talked about, oh, acne, so I stopped having oily food. But I'm like, yeah, but acne also comes from your sugary sweets. No, no, no. How can I give up sugar, sir? No, 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 no. I can't give up sugar. Don't even tell me to give up sugar. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? So very often the intention might be there, the ability might be there, but the information is wrong. So making sure you're getting good quality information from places that you can stick to. The last thing, Kiara, is learn how to make your jogging and working out and all the changes that you want to make to get rid of the acne, to get rid of the weight and even the PCOD. Yes, you can get rid of that. Ways to do it is to figure out what are the small changes you can make in your life. What are the small things you can do from now onwards that are going to have a big impact in your future. That's the way you can make this change. So, Kiara, thank you for writing. And if you want to be on the next episode of The Hot Seat, Habit Coach Hot Seat, please check out the link below in this podcast and send me a detailed question on what it is that you're going through. And I will do my best to answer it. We have a lot of questions that keep coming in. I only select a few because we do this once a week. So, Keep sending in the questions because they're also going into my bank. And maybe I might not reply on the hot seat episode with the question, but I might use the question as uh, an idea for my YouTube videos or maybe for a full podcast or maybe invite a guest that who can answer that question. So don't lose hope or don't lose heart just because I haven't covered your topic yet. It will get covered somewhere or the other. Just keep writing in your questions and let's have this conversation together. If you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am Ashton Doc on Twitter and Instagram. You can find lots more information on my website, awesome180.com or check out different content on my YouTube channel called AWESOME180. That's Awesome 180. Hey, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On Last Brand Standing is the Battle of the Biscuits, Britannia versus ITC, as Anupam and Ambi discuss ITC's aggressive play to break into Britannia's strong market hold. On Cyrus Says, Mountaineer Aditya Gupta talks about his book, Seven Lessons from Everest. Why is the Mopla Rebellion of 1921 causing such a stir in Kerala? An eye-opening conversation on the wire talks between Siddharth and Manu Pillai. On All Things Policy, Mir talks to researchers Anirudh Tagat and Saksham Singh about the dark sides to the ease of use of smartphone financial apps. And on Advertising is Dead, Varun speaks to Samir Nayo, CEO of Applause Entertainment. They talk about where the future of media lies. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week on the network, Seat Cred, Bank of Baroda, Quarter, CoinSwitch, Kuber, and Intuit India. Thank you so much for making this possible. <laughs> Hi, I am Sadaf. And I am Arshit. Khani ka itihas, economics, policy, psychology, sab hai menu pe. Only on the Nankali podcast. Every Wednesday, sif IVM podcast app ya website par. Ya fir jahaan se bhi aap apne podcast sunte ho.